Bring us your baffling. Bring us your audacious. We want your sticky notes, sketchbooks, and scribbles. Let's pin them to the wall, kick them around. Kick them around, see what happens. Because we're in the how do I get this startup off the ground business. The taking your business, global business. We're in the problem solving business. 400,000 people. Ready to help you solve problems while they're still called opportunities. opportunities. From figuring it out to getting it done. We're here to help. Well, I mean, again, we it's, um, I'm proud of our team, as we talked about last week, getting the uh, big win over Buffalo and um, getting the team becoming bowl eligible for the first time in 10 years. Is a, I don't want to, I, I want to, again, say how much I appreciate the players and what their commitment was, has been to take this program back to that level, to that, to that, for the second time, school history. I didn't want to say. Um, Back to the bowl to a bowl bowl eligibility. I did think it was probably as good a game overall game performance as we've had. I mean, we did very well. I think back to Louisiana, Louisiana, and some of the games we've played. That was as good a team performance. Uh, and so again, I'm, I'm awful, awful proud about that. We came out of that uh, very proud. But now we get to the to the to Kent State, and it's and it's uh, it's just a big game. There's very there, every year you've got certain things that certain certain objectives that you'd like to be able to hit. And uh, Kent State's always been the, uh, the the number one goal is to win your rival. And uh, Kent State comes in, and we come, uh, and it's a uh, big game for both of us. They uh, uh, beat us last year. They took the wagon wheel over there. Our players uh, remember that. Uh, Kent State's got a very good football team. The record probably does indicate how good they they are. Uh, uh, and uh, last year they thumped us and beat us. And uh, knocked us out of bowl, uh, being bowl eligible last year, and so um, um, just a big game against a very good team. And our kids have—they uh, know the importance of it. It's—it's it's just it's important to us, and it's a big rivalry. And we're—we're um, we're working hard to be ready for it. And, uh, you know, I—I—I I, I, I really don't read enough because of the way the, the the few people who've come around me say there's so many bowls out there. They may have to have five wins. Teams go to bowl, so I have no idea. I have no idea. I know we have to win to guarantee ourselves a situation that we can control, uh, and that's what. Uh, um, so I'll know a lot more now than I did even after the game. I, I've always I'm, I'm old school. You know, you don't just go to a bowl game because you're bowl eligible. Uh, I don't know the answer to that completely, uh, because but there are people that do. I just don't. I don't know how many teams are eligible. How many teams are will become eligible? I just know what to, I've seen several articles say. There's 40 bowls. That's 80 teams, and there's 71 teams with six wins. So I have no idea the answer to that. But I do know that it doesn't diminish the winner. Whether it hap, happens to be true or not, it doesn't diminish the importance of this game, as far as how critical it is. Uh, to us to play our rival, we want, we want, we our kids want to win that rival. That it means a lot to them. When when you get here, uh, and and you've been coaching and playing football all your life. College football has been my life, even when I was a small child. West Virginia Pitt. I mean, across state. I mean, across the border rivalry, uh, border war. I mean, that was incredible rivalry, mean spirited rivalry. And then to go to Florida, Florida State. You know. And 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 then now you're the little you're the stepchild you're the red-haired stepchild that nobody gives respect to, and you're but it's a huge rival Miami Florida State Florida Florida State, then you coach it at Alabama Auburn and you got to play Alabama and you find out what it means to be a cross-state rival, and it and and how big that is and I I, I found out at at Auburn you could be you could be actually it was it was you could be nine and zero and have saved your job but you hadn't saved your career. Because you ain't beat your last two games are always Georgia and Alabama, those are your rivals. Because you got you got and, and it's all going to be about how you do against your rivals. Then I come here, and even when both teams aren't having great years, you live in the same street. It's it's across the street rival. It's a rival that where people who have no the, 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 no that it has nothing to do with your record because a lot of years neither team had a great record. It's it's. The, the 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 graduates go to work together. They they shop in the same shopping centers. They live on the same streets. It's I mean as much as Kent's over there and Akron's over here. It's all part of a bigger community. So now you've got to cross the street rivalry, and it and it here it carries a lot more weight to our alumni than you would. And then when you get here and you understand that, you watch that wagon wheel go to the other building, 
uh, and you know that in many years that was the only that was the only thing you could have to save your season was that game and so right now it, it so you began to understand it it it, it uh, it's exciting it's exciting to have a rivalry I, I, I don't think I ever or I, I would ever want to be a I, I, I'm glad every university you wish every university could have a great rivalry because this is a very very good rivalry but it's one you don't want to lose and it one means a lot to the people at these two institutions there's always one more game there, in coaching, there's always one more game. And so if you live your whole life, well, that we finally got there, no, there's always one more game. All you got to do is find out what it's like to win 10 a year or 11 and find out you better win 12 or you're going to be gone. Or if you've set the t So it doesn't matter where you are. That was another goal that we have to reach. Is it the goal that we ch set for ourselves here? Not at all. Our goal is to be the top team in this conference. Our goal is to build a championship team and championship relative to the Mid-American Conference is a team that wins can win the conference so we're but 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 is that a goal it's a milestone yes you know like i said there's four there's probably four goals at akron that you that anybody that comes here is going to set and that's a uh, uh bowl eligible you know kent state win your division win your conference i mean whether someone could say i want to make the final four and get to the playoff for championship you can do that if you want to but i don't know if you need to even think about things like that but uh but uh, so so but that's the way I look at it I mean it, it, it goes about as far you know you could say uh, um, d yesterday last week well what a load off your mind you got six wins your ball is well, no it didn't I mean we, we got Kent coming up I don't want to I don't want to go I want to win this game this game is the end, last game of the season this game gives you seven and five this game gives you the most wins during the regular season since 203 you know um, and uh, um, so it's a, and it's Kent. So it's so uh, um, like I say, in, in when you go to a program, you build a program. There are milestones that you want to hit, and then once you hit them, if you hit them again, then you, you you better hit them every year. So it's 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 relative. Go look at Les Miles and all the stuff you hear read about Les Miles at LSU this week, and how, how you know. That's old news at this point. Uh, well, the point is, the point is, you create your own monsters. You know, you create your own deals. So as soon as you as soon as you get good, you got to get better. So, like I say, it's a, I'm I'm proud for our team. I'm proud for our players. It's exciting. It's exciting. I tell you what's exciting is to be in November and have these games mean so much to this program. To be to to you pay what? I don't, I don't know how much you pay for a ticket, but the value of the ticket stays for the value of the ticket to be as to be as valuable at the last of the season as is at the beginning is what you're supposed to be able to do and, and uh, it's a, it's going to be an exciting day. I think so. I mean, I think so. And there's so much more he can go. He's 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 progressing, but when I look at his confidence level, I look at his uh uh um uh, uh, his his taking upon himself to make plays. You know, and it wasn't the throws. He made good throws. For he had, we, we, you know, the, the plays that he called happened to be open that scored touchdowns and he hit them. But the way he ran aggressively on third downs, the way he understood where the down and distance was, the way he, the amount of emotion that he carried, I think we saw him begin to see uh, the role of quarterback uh, being more than just a, an arm and a leg. It's it's a it's a mentality. It's a, it's a leadership position. Absolutely, I, 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 I think we've had a work in process, progress offensively the entire season uh, because we've gone from this quarterback to well this quarterback and then to this quarterback and what do we do and I think we've been able to tailor it to, to uh, begin to tailor it and we're beginning to see what we can do, what Tommy uh, Woodson can do. Uh, and so uh, um, now I think, I think Kent's probably one of the top three defenses in our conference and they're going to dictate what we can do. Uh, and so that's a lot, you know, you, we, we do a lot better when the team's not as good on the for defense as well, when they're good. Problem is they have a great secondary in Holly, Italiano, oh. and Monday. They're the, they're the number one pass defense in the, in the conference. They, they got a very physical front. They under, their head coach is a former defensive coordinator that understands defense and how to play great defense, and uh, um, that's the that's that's why they all they'll always be in football games. is when they play great defense. Well, I mean, you watch it. They 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 substitute used to they use different quarterbacks. Those two especially. Reardon was uh, in, he he was instrumental in them beating us last year. We would uh, we would think that that would have carry some weight going into our game. The fact that he was he he was the was the quarterback that beat us last year, uh, and. Um, but uh, uh, Ballas has played as much too, so we can prepare for both of them. But I, but I, and, and I think when we and we and Coach Shimada has has prepared for both of those, just because that's what they've used the last five games.
Well, you got to prepare for everything you see. I mean, by, by now we have 11 videos of 11 games they played this year. Uh, they also have two or three extra days to prepare for us. So again, over the years, you just prepare for what it is they're good at, do the best job uh, preparing for what they are, knowing that uh, uh, they can break tendencies at any time. And um, add a new wrinkle, or break a tendency. Um, I, 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 I think we have a chance. I, I believe their, their offense can go out there and, and, and play loose and do about anything they want to do. I think they have nothing to lose and uh, everything to gain. And I think we'll see their best offensive performance of the year. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think him and Connor, uh, uh, there's a good chance you'll see more of Donnell. He's, he, 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 he transferred here to sit out and play his senior year here. And then Connor Hundley did, was is one of our leaders and one of our hardest working players and came out and, and kept the position. And he's been patient. Mm -hmm. And he's been patient. And uh, when he got a chance this past week, he did very, very well. Uh, we need both of them to be ready and both of them to play. And uh, very few teams go through the, 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 a, a single game with only one tailback. And, uh, one running back, and so those are our two top ones. We've got some younger ones as well, but uh, they'll both be ready to play. My first four-year class, I have some fifth-year. Yeah, I don't have a five-year class yet, which is your redshirt group. But this is the first senior group, and most of our seniors played that first year. They're still here. Um, uh, but to me, to me, uh, uh, great trust. I think there's great trust in this group of people, and I and I'll throw in the fifth-year seniors like Cody, Isaiah, Bryce, uh, Brumbaugh. Bohan, um, Kyle Pohl, uh, these fifth-year guys, I think trust because when you say this is where we're going to go and this is how we're going to get there, this is where we're going to go, this is how we're going to get there, uh, they have to buy in. They have to trust that, 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 that they have to trust that plan. They have to trust their second staff. They have to trust because they start some, some of those fifth-year guys start with a different group. They have to have a lot of trust that, that if we do what these coaches say, we'll, we'll, we'll turn this thing into a winning program. And it was not easy. This was a very difficult, uh, this has been a very difficult assignment, uh, having done it four other times at four other schools. And if you look at Sanford University, that was actually two different jobs because we had to turn around a Division Three program from a loser to a winner. And then a year later, we went straight to 1AA and took that in four years to a 1AA winner. Uh, this one has just been a, it's been a, it, it, it's been a, they had to trust because the thing that I got asked in my interview here the very first time is, can you ch the, change the culture of losing? The culture was what people, and then that is the hardest thing. To, that sometimes is it takes great trust for for young men to say, you know, we're gonna we're going we're going to we're going to become winners, and we're going to do what the coaches say. And so that's what I think of this this group of seniors: great perseverance and trust. And I think that's what it takes uh, to build a winning program. They have to persevere through the difficulties, uh, uh, and then then have to have trust. And the thing about it is now that there's still layers of success that we got to we got to continue to obtain one of those milestones that would be set Friday would be a seven win regular season uh, and, a, and a chance to beat your rivalry well yeah he, yeah Jerome has got big hands and we we, we get on him because he likes to make one-handed catches in practice because he can we don't encourage it because two hands are much better than one uh, but that being said, in a game where the ball had it could only get he could only get one hand to the ball, he was able to get that ball in. So it was just like I say, it was a well thrown ball. He made the he made the uh, the great stab at it. But uh, like I say, you always want to get two hands on the ball. But your great receivers, your receivers that have great hands, when they can get one hand to it, they got a good chance to catch it. And he did a great job there. Well, I haven't thought past Kent right now and what we got to do to win this game, but I never know when you want to go, George, down that road of uh, uh, philosophically speaking about this program. You know, like I say, we are we we expect our players to continue and our program to continue to get better and better. Uh, and and athletically, we we the, the the more you've got talent coming back, you you you, you it's, it, it's we're a long way from saying well we just got to stabilize this thing now. We just got to stabilize it and make sure we don't go backwards because there, there's still so much out there. Guys like Woodson, Jerome Lane, uh, Dravon, don't forget Trevon Chapman. He'll be a factor in our program uh, down the road as well. Great athlete like that. But there's, there's guys like that you've got uh, will uh, we'll only enhance your chance to get better. But right now, my only, my only thoughts are how well can Tommy Woodson get the ball to Jerome Lane against a defense that's number one in the conference against the pass.